and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for our first Corset 2020 standard deck for us to try. And we have a donation deck uh, to try here, Jund Cavalier. So you can see these are going to be the four decks we're going to be playing today. Um, Jund Cavaliers, Azorius Angels, both of those are donation decks that we're going to try out. And then we have uh, Grixis Control that I updated with some new cards, and then an Orzov Knights uh, I asked in the Discord channel. Some decks that people would like to see, and that was one of the first comments. Uh, not doing the 12-hour stream today because we've had some troubles with the servers and getting connected here to Arena. So we're starting a little bit later, so we're just kind of doing like a normal stream where we're going to be playing our four decks. But then tomorrow, I'll be doing the 12-hour stream, also kind of assuming that everything's working. And we'll be doing the 12-hour stream tomorrow where I'll have a lot more decks. And I'll work on that after t after stream tonight and tomorrow morning, working work on putting some more decks together. So should be a good stream tomorrow. But for today, let's try these new cards for the first time. And this is a good test with new cards. So this is a Jund Cavaliers deck where we are playing all the Cavaliers. We got Cavalier of Night, Cavalier of Flame, and Cavalier of Thorns. I really like this Cavalier of Thorns card. Um, so yeah, so what we're, what we're doing here is we're like self-milling some. We got the Glow Spore Shamans that help us self-mill. We have uh, all the Explore creatures that can put creatures into our graveyard. We got all those. We have the Remodi Reveler that have, has us discard cards, put stuff in the graveyard. Playcrafter, of course, we sacrifice our own creatures getting things in the graveyard. And this new one, Glinthorn Buccaneer, the three mana, two, four haste, uh, that whenever we discard a card, it deals one damage to each opponent, and it also has that discard ability. So we can get some stuff in our graveyard. Then, whenever creatures are in our graveyard, we can cast this Blood for Bones. New four mana sorcery, additional cost, sacrifice a creature, and you return one creature, sorry, <coughs> you return one creature from your graveyard to the battlefield, and another creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So we get to replace any creature on the battlefield with something else. So we can get these Cavaliers into play like that. And we also get to um, raise dead another one and put one into our hand. Um, so we got the Feinberger to bring stuff back. So this will be pretty interesting to see how this tries out. See if these Cavaliers can really um, you know, do a whole lot of work for us. Man, the art on these cards is sweet. Like that Cavalier Flame looks really cool. All right, so that's that's what we got going on. We got the Loaming Shaman for a little bit of graveyard hate, also as a new card in the sideboard. Um, yeah, let's let's give it a try without further ado. All right, we got new decks today. Um, let's see. Let's head on over to our traditional constructed queues. All right, these are still here. Let's choose our deck. Jund Cavalier donation deck. We're hoping everything kind of goes well here. The servers are, I don't know, acting acting up a little bit. Hey, Yulin. Good evening. Best way to get cards besides packs on Arena. That's that's all like that's all you have on arena you have i mean the other option is to um is to draft and play sealed and you can get new cards that way as well um but there's not other options really besides that either just playing limited playing you know drafting and playing sealed uh or cracking open packs all right good looking opener so i think i'm gonna just remodi away the uh, Glinthorn Buccaneer? Yeah, and keep Jade Light. Hmm. I think I guess I'm just going to remodi away the remodi now. So we can have the Jade Light and the Buccaneer. All right, yeah, ETB, you can discard any number of cards and draw that many. And, of course, the discard will each time... When you have the bu Buccaneer into play, each discard that you do will trigger to do a damage to the opponent. 
And then, yeah, whenever it dies, you can do a lot of damage based on how many lands you have in your graveyard. I don't know the best sealed colors of the new set. So I think I still want to go Jade Light here to hit land drops over the Buccaneer. The Buccaneer blocks this Vanguard, though. But I think hitting land drops is kind of nice. Oh, Stream Decker, good call. Let's get Stream Decker on. Or Deck... You're Deck Master, that, that's what you're asking about. But yeah, I'll get Deck Master on. Alright, Doom Waffle, have a good day at work. Yeah, it is, it is patch day, so you never know. At any point, the game can crash. Who knows? Green Kitty. All right, let's see. Okay, so next turn I'll be able to play the Cavalier of Flame. How are they already at 14? Oh, because they, they paid 4 life for Vanguard, right? Deckmaster is, like, not starting for me. I thought I opened it already, but nothing's happening. Let me try opening it again. Four or five lifelink is pretty big. I certainly hope that... I really hope my opponent doesn't have another removal spell. We're Junt Cavaliers. Whoops. Yeah, Deckmasters is not even open up opening up for me. I haven't yeah, this is the very first game with the deck. So I haven't that was my first time casting any cavalier. I haven't cast the red cavalier yet, but it looks pretty sweet. Ah, uh, they had another. It did have the other enchantment removal spell. That's very bad.
Not exactly sure I'm going to race this to Meek now. I kind of need this lifelink from this Cavalier. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So basically, am I going to want to cast this card next turn, or do I want to cast Blood for, Blood for Bones? I guess I'm going to probably want to cast this card. safer. Blue kitty. Green kitty. That's game. It's too many flyers. I'm at three. Alright, well, enchantments are a problem. That enchantment removal. Um, Brontodon is not very good against enchantment removal, unfortunately. It's okay. I mean, it's just like four mana, and you have to sacrifice your Brontodon. Like, four mana to destroy a Conclave Tribunal is like, ugh. It's very, ugh. Hmm. I mean, Shock's okay, I guess. It doesn't kill... Like, like that game we saw, like, you know, Tamik, Benelish, Marshall. Shock's not doing anything against those. Hmm. I mean, definitely Wild Growth Walker, but that also is just another thing to get Exile removed... Like, uh, enchantment removed. Vivian does destroy enchantments very well and destroys flyers. Vivian's awesome. No, we want we want Bronson on to destroy enchantments, but just not like, not against like mono white, like against decks that are like slower and everything. But like against mono white that has such cheap enchantments, and you're facing down a lot of pressure. It's not great. Like Bronson's better against mono red than Reclamation Sage, but Reclamation Sage is a lot better against mono white. You know, it's just that kind of thing. I guess I'm running out of time, so I got a, got a sideboard there. Well, Gratton, you didn't you didn't correct you probably didn't type M20 correctly. Capitalization matters. Yeah, no, Brontodon's better than Playcrafter and stuff. I I just got too much I got too too far on that tangent and didn't didn't sideboard uh didn't i ran out of time there but yeah no brontodon's better than than play crafter for sure just not the ideal enchantment removal spell but should still be in in this matchup but i ran out of time
All right, so I'll have Remadi Reveler discard probably the, the Black Cavalier and then for next turn and then try to Blood for Bones for turn four. Yeah, I'll be playing a Chandra deck tomorrow, like Chandra Tribal. Uh, I'm going to have six mana Chandra in Grixis Control. You can see these are the decks that we're playing today over here. Maybe I should be ditching Red Cavalier. Walk a righteous path. Prepare for battle. Surprising, I'm surprised kick, uh, clicking the cat doesn't have the cat meow or anything. Attack. Do not frighten me. All right, put Cavalier Knight on the battlefield and we'll take Remodi Reveler. I believe in you. I'm just going to discard them all. My opponent was set up pretty good at facing the Cavalier deck. Well, Playcrafter could help us out a lot. Could get rid of this Gideon, maybe. It's possible. Yeah, God's Willing is a really good card. Your light will it's a very, very solid card.
Dang. Bleh. That was not a good turn for us. Why doesn't the play thing work? All right, there it goes. Um, yeah, I mean Gideon. Gideon's awesome. Um, yeah, it, it would be in the sideboard, kind of like where I put Teferi. Where you could have Gideon instead of Teferi there. Um, I think you'd probably want Teferi. Yeah, you'd probably want Teferi instead of over Gideon. I'm not sure. There, though. Uh, Lord, the decks we're playing right here are up, up here. Like today's decks. That's what we got. Tomorrow, I'm planning on doing the long stream. I was planning on doing a long stream today, but the um, with the ser with the server problems we've had and everything, didn't work out. So tomorrow we should be doing a longer stream with more decks and everything. As Kanta. So I think if we're I think if we're John Tier that we should have like Assassin's trophies in the sideboard. Something that like a better a better removal spell that can take out a variety of permanents in the sideboard. Like Assassin's Trophy seems like it's a, a really good sideboard card. They can kind of take out anything. If you wish to, I have just the trick for this. I was not prepared for this. All right, so I can take the Wilden Cemetery and just draw it with the Branch Walker. Or I can just keep it in the graveyard and j then just uh, explore the next thing. With me drawing the land this turn for our fifth land, I'll just keep it on top and explore the next thing. So how are we going to really speed up our clock? It's not much here to really speed up the clock. Cavalier of Flame, we need the, like, you know, that can pump, of course. That doesn't speed up our clock any. So 
So whenever this dies, it'll deal two damage. We have two lands in our um, in our graveyard. Hey, what's up, Kurtash? I used I used this thing to start arena to get it to work. Kurtash, I don't know if it'll help you. And and I guess there's another workaround that other people have said from uh, the arena thing, or like I don't know, on like the arena forums. I train every day, meditate, and prepare. We just have the one land. All right, duress. Hmm. Definitely Vivian. I guess we're playing Brontodons here. They're probably like a Tameo deck, in which case I'd one Elder Spell. We can get rid of Cavalier of Night. I don't know how much we really need Blood for Bones. And the Cavalier of Thorns. Probably not too necessary either. Let's try this. Oh, that is true. Playcrafter is bad against Tamiyo. That is true. I could be wrong with this, Igrok. I don't I don't know for sure. But from what I've heard that like there's a hundred levels and I guess it resets every month. Or no, between every set? No, yeah, I guess it resets between every set. It's like every three months. And and therefore, if you can gain, like, one level a day, you can't actually gain all 100 levels. And so you would have to pay for other levels. And it resets every set, yeah. So you can get around 80 levels, so then the last 20 you'd have to pay for. And so that's why I just did the, I did the, the 10 extra bonus with the mastery pass thing because of that because to get the hundredth level has a really really sweet looking chandra sleeve so I'm, i want to try to get that um i mean I, these these do put good pressure on our opponent like the three ones i just if we had you know if we had an untapped land the two tap lands though Two tap lands again. Oh, right. London Mulligan. Right. Forgot about that. All right, so am I getting rid of Blood for Bones or Cavalier or Buccaneer? No, I mean, Buccaneer is what you're saying. So Blood for Bones or Cavalier. I guess... Hmm... I was like, what's going on here? Yeah, I used the level up code.
Alright, that last song was Graffiti by Churches. Okay, so I was kind of wrong about some stuff. So they announced, so they're removing pay for levels. So you, I guess if you're just on the mastery track, you're just able to earn more levels then, I suppose. So the big question is if I want to cast a Cavalier of Flame again the next turn. This flame animation is pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll we'll keep it. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> Thanks, good mate. So the quote is, this will likely start with more events that provide XP and will expand it to other options as we see how things play out. We'll continue these changes to make sure we get both the balance and, more importantly, the experience of Mastery Passes to the right place. Cool. No, I don't have an updated Is It Phoenix list. No. You might be thinking of the wrong person for Is It Phoenix. I haven't had an Is It Phoenix list ever. Like, like actually ever. Hmm. Thing. So they they did kill the buccaneer. I was I was hoping they were not going to kill the buccaneer, but at least we double stone rain them. I was I was definitely considering not attacking with the buccaneer, but I also thought that if I took too long considering not attacking with buccaneer, then it would make it too obvious that I didn't want them to kill it. We've done a good job drawing lands now.
I don't actually have any lands in my graveyard, do I? Okay, I have one. They have to block both Cavaliers, or they're dead. Alright, so they're just chumping out. Nah, Cavalier is not, not legendary. This art is sweet. So one Cavalier dying, so it does one damage. I guess it already did. So yeah, they, they went down to two, and the Cavalier did one damage and put them down to one. It wasn't much of an animation to show that. So if they if they kill the Cavalier, they take one and die. If they bounce the Cavalier, it can come back with haste. Ah, more ooze. That's the best answer. I should do it. So I gotta gotta give the remodi haste. Just pumping your team for two mana though. That's pretty powerful. Pumping your team and giving them haste. Yeah, Cavalier is good. Alright, so we got 850 gold and I got some amount of XP. Just shows XP. So I need 50 more XP for the next level. Okay, we're one and one. Um, yeah, it's it's somewhere right in there, Quartz I I think I gave it like a B plus or an A minus, like one of those for the Red Cavalier, because um, it is like like the triple triple red is still tough. Um, you know, it's gonna really lower the amount of decks that you can be in being triple red like that, but it's a, it's a very strong card. Yeah, I did, did a review of the set. Yep, it's up on the YouTube channel. I uh, did it uh, last Friday. Broke down all the cards and everything. And if you go to any of the videos, you can kind of, you can kind of click on, you can go to the description of any of the videos and there's a spreadsheet with all the grades and so you can see like whatever card with whatever grade I gave and you can you know go to the video and go to that specific card that you'd like to hear me talk about because um, I went through every single card in the whole set you know commons uncommons everything like we usually do change is very long the or mastery system affects anything yeah that's, that's how you get you get like packs and like booster packs and stuff. I think this is, I don't know. We have like good mana, but just these cards don't do anything. I mean, we can't cast these cavaliers. I guess that's so not like that good of mana. Hmm. Alright, let's try this. We need another green land for Jade Light to get our hand to do anything. And we'll ditch one of these red cavaliers. 
Good old London Mulligan. That looks like a lot more than 53 cards, doesn't it? Did they... Did they make these... They must have made these decks a whole lot bigger now. That looks like a lot of cards. Compared to what they had before. To be honest, I'm not super familiar with Jeskai Drake's pro. Um, but I'm I'm sure there there's something for the deck. I just I don't I don't know exactly what. I'm not very familiar with the deck. All right, hoping to draw a land here so we get to Cavalier of Flame. Yeah, God's Willing, that's a great one. So if I Cavalier of Night, I can have the Jade Light kill the forest. Hmm. It's not that great. I don't know if I'm supposed to just be attacking upstairs. I probably am. People kill on people keep on killing my buccaneer. I don't actually want them to. Did they attack again thinking that you know maybe they wouldn't be that worried about the buccaneer? They were. Not looking, not looking so good right now. Rise, my elemental yeah, friend. The DD is for donation decks, decks that other people made and donated to see played.
Nissa is still good. This is still good. Truth lies beyond vision. Behold, nature's true power. Well, I can't beat a crisis. I certainly hope this is not a crisis. Need the Black Cavalier? Nope. Yeah, I think we need some some different cyborg cards. So I'm kind of feeling like over here. We use some of the the new ones. I really like the new Black Hates the new uh, Black Hate card. Destroy a, a creature or planeswalker that's white or green. That can destroy Nyssa and Krasis and all the Teferis. Yeah, that's the card we need. These cards are all kind of meh. Man, I'm sorry to hear that, Matthew. Yeah, send me send me the list. Um, Playcrafter, unfortunately, is just going to be getting rid of a mana creature. Shocks are good at getting rid of mana creatures, though. Like maybe we need to duress. Yeah. We're gonna need a dress. All right, let's try this out. All right, not a bad hand, not a bad hand. So I think I'm gonna save the Reveler for later. I'm gonna start with Branch Walker. There's nothing to like immediately discard and Branch Walker can just like help us hit land drops and everything like that. So yeah, we'll just kind of go from Branch Walker to Jade Light and so on, and we'll wait on Reveler till later. Uh, no, Rolo, these are the decks that we're playing over here. Uh, this is the first deck you can see here. This is the, the first list, Jun Cavaliers, that we're playing. Player Thorns is good.
Witness the ties that bind us all. Be wary of the ground you walk on. This is so good. Do not test me. Hmm. I was expecting them to block, to be honest. I cannot protect you anymore. I was thinking there's a better chance that they, like, if I attack them with the Jade Light Ranger, they definitely don't block. But if I attack the Nissa, they may block. That's so how I was hoping that they were going to block. More data will be needed. Don't really know how we're going to get through and kill this Nissa right now. I like what this deck is doing, though, and everything. I think our, our sideboard... Um, needs a lot of work, but I like what the main deck's doing. We will not fail. We got like Massacre Girl. There's like a card we could be having in the sideboard. We we definitely need some more stuff for like these two matchups that we've lost. Or, I mean, we haven't lost this yet, but Nissa is pretty tough to beat. Okay. Perfect. Sorry, Witty, I'm going to be doing the other donation deck first, and then playing Grixis after that. Do not underestimate my fortitude. Uh, this card back was, uh, this was in the, available in the store for, I think, 600 gems, I believe, and Grath. Doing some cool stuff.
All right, so we'll sack the new Jade Light. Get back Cavalier of Night into play. And put the Remodi Reveler in my hand. And so this comes in, so we have to sacrifice. Because I just sacrificed the other Cavalier of Night. I can sacrifice the Cavalier of Thorn, so let's see. Only have to, so I have to do three over there. So I guess I want to sacrifice the Cavalier of Thorns. And then put the Blood for Bones back on top. And kill the Krasis. And then kill Nissa, attack them for four. Fight on without me. Don't know exactly what I'm doing with this blood for bones. Right now, to be honest. Maybe I should have grabbed Elder Spell. It's considering Elder Spell there. I I forgot this thing exiles itself whenever you do that clause. I didn't really consider that. I was thinking that the Cavalier Thorns was still going to be in my graveyard to be able to get back for the Blood for Bones for, for uh, honestly. So yeah. So probably so maybe I should have sacked the other Cavalier of Night and kept that. I did, Comer. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. I have learned much from my ancestors. together is finished. Hey, Sasori. Thank you so much. So you're gonna sack the Cavalier of Night. Oh, I forgot about that part of Cavalier of Night. Uh, graveyard. You get to do this before you. Yeah, I guess that that trigger would happen. Oh, that works really well. So you can actually you can sacrifice Cavalier of Night and then return Cavalier of Night. Right. I forgot about that whole all that stuff. This is sweet.
Hmm. There's a lot of cool things you get to do with this. Um. Hmm. Which one do I want back? I don't even know if I did did anything like right that turn at all. I don't know. But yeah, we need to we're gonna need to practice with this deck a little bit more. Figure out what this what's going on with some of this stuff. Okay. So they took my Cavalier of Flames. Yeah, we're gonna our sideboard needs needs a lot of work, admittedly. We need we need both the green and the, the black hate spells. Love both of those those cards. But yeah, this yeah, this is yeah, like we're you know kind of learning on the fly like some of the power between these these cavaliers, like especially cavalier of night, and this uh, blood for, blood for bones card. My presence alone will guide you towards victory. For I can create or destroy. So we'll just get back the Reveler and draw a card. Yeah, Graft Digger's Cage, Leyline of the Void. Yeah, those would help help hold the deck back a little bit, but it's not like. It's not like you necessarily need those things. Oh gosh. Alright, so permanent card. So we can go get Cavalier of Night. We cannot get Blood for Bones or Elder Spell. Or, you know, like any of the cards that we want. I guess we could get the Flame. Probably want the Cavalier of Night though. Yeah, this deck looks really cool, though. I'm going to try to run this one back again tomorrow. Yeah, I'll I'll work on, like, the sideboard and everything. I'll work on this deck some and run this deck back to tomorrow. I, will aid you. I like this one quite a bit, Julius. This is a good deck.
Nah, cat doesn't. The cat doesn't do anything, but Hawkeye likes the cat, so. <laughs> I haven't tried feeding the cat lasagna, yet, so even if it evolves. I just have infinite creatures. Like I, I can't, I can't really beat Ugin and Nissa at all. Hey, yo, Silver, coming in. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Like I have to draw like my other. I'm gonna have to draw like my other elder spell. But yeah, if we get like the the new green, the new the new green, the new black hate spells in here, Masker Girl. Definitely a couple of command the dread hordes, obviously, should be in the sideboard. Like there's there's no reason why we shouldn't have any command the dread hordes in the deck. A couple of those also. There's a lot of cool stuff with this with this deck though. Rise, my elemental friend. Our pawn stack's just a little more tuned and there's they have a lot of very powerful things there with like obviously these steel effects are just super powerful. So's are so's Tamios and um You know, Tamios and Nissas, of course. Yeah, yeah, we should be playing Veil of Summer for sure. Shut down mass manipulations. Like, I, I wouldn't be playing a green creature deck without Veil of Summer at all. We gotta be. We gotta have that card. So, yeah, I. I should uh, update our sideboard some before. We played this, but. That would bring two, two headed giants. Not a. That's not a, a format, for arena. That, that's never a an online format. Booster pack. Let's crack it open. The life chanter. All right, well, pretty sweet deck here. Just play the three matches, but, um, you know, we'll continue to work on this one because there's a lot of cool stuff going on. I think I think either either we want like a little bit more self mill. I think we maybe have a little bit too like I don't know if we need the the squires also to go with Branchwalker Jade Light. Like 
but I do like glow spore shaman could have like another glow spore shaman here um I think our main deck probably needs a little more interaction though um even with permanents you know like chupacabras would be great for this deck for example like maybe instead of like these squires play crafters we should be playing chupacabras for example like that's uh, that's a good one. But, I mean, I know Playcrafter does work well with Cavalier of Night, though, returning returning it. So, I guess I do like Playcrafter for the most part. Um, but I think we could use some Chupacabras. And then, yeah, as we talked about sideboard stuff, like, I, I don't think we need WoW. Like, if WoW Growth Walker is not in our main deck, it doesn't it doesn't need to be in our deck. Like, do we really need this against Red? I don't I don't know. But, yeah, instead of, instead of these, we get, like, some Assassin's Trophies, the new Red... Or sorry, the new the new black, the new, the new green, hate cards. Oh, it's Vivian with an E, right? Well, this. Yeah, Vivian could work in this deck. Give these things trample. Those things are big. And be a removal spell also. I don't know, you know, not very many copies, you know, like maybe one copy or something. I I don't understand your question, uh, Caddy. Um, okay. So yeah, pretty, pretty interesting deck here though. Our mana worked out very well overall. You know, like surprisingly well, I guess that, that's what happens when we don't really have any basics. Um, I'm not sure about the Memorial to Folly needing this thing. I think that maybe we'd want a basic here. But mana worked out well. The Cavaliers were good. Even even like the Cavalier of Thorns, like that last game, we saw how like it, it got us like the extra mana, filled our graveyard. I liked that quite a bit. Blood for Bones was was pretty good. And yeah, I really like the interaction with these. I think we needed some more some more self mill though. And like maybe this is Stitcher Supplier instead of Seeker Squire, for example. We can get some more mill. And like that's a Stitcher Supplier, of course, is a really crappy creature to sacrifice. Buccaneer is is all right. I don't I don't know if that's actually gonna be one of like the strongest things that we actually want in the deck, but it's all right. The damage is kind of cool. It you know it, it obviously pairs very well with Cavalier of Flame, but I don't know if it really pairs that well with the rest of the deck. It's it's basically just a card to to kind of make Cavalier Flame a little better. But I don't know if that's going to be one of like the very best options for a deck like this, to be honest. Thanks, Matthew. Um, so there we go. Drunned Cavaliers. Got some, some good-looking stuff here with the deck. Uh, Bantu? No, I don't know. No, I don't think you want Bantu instead of these things. I don't. Well, actually, you know, I say that, and I, I didn't really consider the lands being in your graveyard good for Cavalier of Flame. Maybe, yeah. So maybe you play a Bantu. I could see that. You're gonna need more like ramp, though. Like you'll likely need more ramp. Like our deck does need more card advantage. That's something that our deck could use as a more card advantage, probably, or or aggression, or like ways to get through damage easier against the smaller smaller creatures. Um, yeah, sacrificing the lands and getting them in the graveyard for Cavalier of Flame is nice. It would probably be like one of the two Cavalier Thorns turning into a Bantu, probably there. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> hey, Necrolepsy. Okay. All right, so that's con Junt Cavaliers. There we go. That's how that's how we'll say that, Junt Cavaliers. Hey, Night Owl. Thanks for that resub there. Welcome back. Um, oh, that is our ninth subscriber of the day? I was Looks like I was behind on one. Cool. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll work some more on that one, um, on this one. But yeah, Julius, this was a pretty cool deck. I liked what we had going on here. Pretty good, interesting stuff. All right, uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's our, our first one for Core Set 2020. Um, you know, uh, if you're, yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there on the YouTube.